In today's Pick a Card reading, we're going to go over how your absence is felt. If you've been around and you know who I am, feel free to skip right to your reading and I'll see you there. If you're brand new to this channel, I warmly welcome you to this community. My name is JC, I'm an energy reader, and this channel is all about connecting with your highest divine self. And if you're also totally new to pick a card readings on this beautiful YouTube land, all you have to do is pick a number between one over here pile number two or pile number three. Once you've chosen your number, all you have to do is go down to the description box below, click on the timestamp that correlates to the number that you've chosen, and that is where your reading will start today. And without further ado, let's start with pile number one. Hello, pile number one. How are we all doing? Thank you so much for tuning in to this channel and letting me read for you guys today. If you're looking for private readings, I do that in pre-recorded format, written format, and also one-on-one -on -one live Zoom readings if that's what you'd like. Check that out. It's in the description box below in my Etsy store. So, pile number one, how is your absence felt? Oh man, your reading pile number one is so clear to me. How your absence is felt is that they don't feel the support anymore. You are some people's major pillar, if that makes any sense. Like you are such a strong support system for so many people. I don't know if you realize this and I feel like half of you guys don't fully realize this, that you guys are such important support systems to many people in your life. And when you leave them or when you cut them out of your life, anything of the sort, they feel as though they don't have that foundation anymore. Your absence is felt in a way where, you know, when you Literally, if they had a car and you took a wheel out, that's how it feels. All of a sudden, it feels unstable, it doesn't feel right, it feels kind of dangerous without you, it doesn't feel safe anymore in their life. You were a shooting star in their life, literally. I love this crystal, it's the shape of a star. and. I think the stone is called like bumblebee or something, literally, and I love bees. So they miss when you cut people out of the, your life and you're no longer allowing their energy in your energy, they don't, they, they feel as though a part of their heart is missing. They feel as though then there's two ways of reading this card over here you know you brought you bring a lot of healing energy and it's more so this side of the mm, perspective than it is uh you know it's so much more about your ability to heal people just by existing near them is so powerful pile number one so when you are no longer around people, that healing energy leaves with you. And so people that are afraid of healing find it um, relieving, unfortunately. But many people that don't get to be around your healing energy, which is really apparent and really strong, they miss it, they want it, and they feel like they're missing out on a lot of things when it comes to life when you are no longer around. It makes sense because, you know, your healing energy is so almost intoxicating and so loving, so nurturing. Not only do they feel nurturing and loved by you, they feel loved and nurtured by the universe, by the entirety of human existence. So that, that level of power and influence has this immense ripple effect in their lives and their lives are truly so much better when you are in it. 
just by you existing. You don't need to do anything. You just exist and their life is that much better. So you also have love abounds. So when you, pile number one, you just simply have a straight up loving heart that your heart is so big, it's so grand and people can feel it from a million miles away. And when you take it away from them, for whatever reason, you know, it's besides a point for this reading. However, you guys maybe broke up, maybe they wronged you, so you have to cut them out. Maybe they're toxic people or ex-friends and you had to no longer, you know, F with them. You had to leave. But when you left, this heart energy, this loving energy, this soothing energy this validating energy that you offered them and you gave them in abundance also leaves the room with you and so they feel so you leave a gaping hole in their life when you leave them that's for sure you were also really good at taking leadership roles so you're you were amazing at taking the lead and you still are amazing at taking the lead i can feel your energy pile number one you guys are strong-headed you guys know what you want and you're gonna go get it you also love your people so deeply the friends that you choose to be friends with and your family and when you are excited to be you know in their life and you have made the decision that they're your people you make things happen with them and when people are no longer in your life, you're like sayonara, see you never because they took you for granted. And what leaves the room with you is also the initiation, the, the starting up of things. And so all of a sudden they feel like they're not doing much in their life anymore and they wonder why and they're like, oh, pile number one is no longer in my life and they realize, oh, like, shit like they they were the ones initiating a lot of things and they even regret not initiating more things with you because they realize that you brought more to the table than they they ever did and it's part of the reason why the friendship didn't uh bloom anymore it was one of the many reasons that it didn't continue I feel like it's different in many, many cases for pile number one, how or why the relationship or friendship or whatever ship ended it. Uh, but the main, the energy is still the same when it comes to how your energy is felt. You guys have powerful heart energy and it's big, it's bright, it's beautiful, it's very supportive, it's very uplifting. And so you, that energy is very validating for people. You know, you make people feel important. And also you took a lead. So, oh my gosh, you have two leadership cards. Pound number one. What the heck? Look at the cards. Lead and take. So you were a leader in their life. You were almost, dare I say, even a North Star in their life. They saw you as inspiration. They admired your lifestyle and they liked to model after it. So not only that, you also share wisdom in them. So what's missing in their life now that you're gone is that they're missing the refreshing perspective and insight on how to live a fulfilling life effectively because you guys do it and you guys do it well and here they are without you anymore in their life and they're like oh man i they they do feel that they messed up they feel like they screwed up and they wish they had done a little better in many ways I say that because this man is holding a scroll and not only that it's the energy that i'm feeling from you guys pile number one is the the ability to see through all the bs and also speak the truth you guys are truth speakers so they know that they're just gonna get the purest form of dialogue when it comes to you oh my gosh they are lacking so much now that you're not in their life and they're having a hard time replacing you because you are so irreplaceable your energy is so the fact that you're tuned into my channel already says to me that you guys are extremely unique and very powerful individuals
what was I saying? You guys see through the BS. This is just confirmation of what I already just said. You guys know how to hear the truth of everything. They, some people in your life relies on you to speak the truth and to see what is really going on. And a lot of people in your life literally look at your face to check if you are agreeing with the situation at hand, if that makes any sense. So when you're in a situation and both of you or a group of you are handling a situation they look to you to validate what's going on if you're giving the ick, if you're getting the ick they're gonna be basically like pile number one is not approving we see you feeling the ick and they don't even need to check in on themselves like the fact that you it didn't pass for you it means it didn't pass for them too so they're Missing a, a North Star in their life. That's how your absence is felt. I feel like that is the end of your reading, pile number one. Thank you so much again for tuning in. Help me boot that like button if you liked it. And consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already done so. I'll see you in another reading. Bye for now. Pile number two. What's going on? How are we all doing? Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. Let's find out how your absence is felt. And if you're looking for private readings, you can find all of my listings in the Etsy, in my Etsy shop, and it's listed in the description box below. I do pre-recorded readings, I do written for formats, and also live one-on-one -on -one Zoom readings. Big heads up, when we do Zoom live readings, it's uncut, it's all candid conversational. So I feel like it is a little different, my experience when I read uh, just alone in a recorded space and centered in the question and the topic. You know what? I don't know. I don't know how, how I am perceived. So, and thank you everyone who have supported me in that way so far. It has been such a blessing and I cannot share the good level of gratitude I have for every single one of you, whether you just watch the channel, whether you just like the my videos and spend a little bit more time tuning into my readings or if you've donated or purchased readings from me everything is so insanely appreciated so back to your reading pile number two let's find out how your absence is felt i gotta tell you pile number two your absence is felt deeply <laughs> so what you offer to people when you were in their life and what you offer to people that are currently in your life too is the mm, you're extraordinarily intelligent that's how people see you and not only are you extraordinarily intelligent and you have amazing ideas and you bring opportunity to people you are so interconnected with the universe that people feel like you are an opportunity from god sometimes and you have the wheel of fortune so not only are you intelligent and you bring opportunity and you're so connected to god the universe the planet earth you are also energetically a lucky star in a lot of people's eyes and so when people are around you when you're in the room when you're in their presence when you allow people to be a part of your life they feel as though they are lucky just because you exist in their life and so your energy is absorbed they absorb your energy in a way where they enjoy it because it feels juicy it's like nectar it's drippy it's golden it's shiny it's glittery it's just so sweet and delicious and I'm, I'm describing your energy right now and they love bathing in that energy that energy they believe that it helps bring them luck your energy is an indirect effect of bringing more abundance and opportunities and fulfillment and good times to their life if that makes sense i really hope that makes sense so when you leave their life they feel as though they no longer have a lucky star they feel as though they're missing that person that has their back and in a way where when they need advice they can't ask anyone anymore because you are that person and when you leave their life it's really sudden it's almost unexpected so how what what freaking happened pile number two 
it, it feels super stunning. Like to them, it came crashing down. Like you leaving their life was one of the worst things that could happen. And they must have messed up so bad for for you to not be in their life anymore. And they realize this also. They realize that you're no longer in their life for And they wonder what went wrong? What did they mess up on? Why is pile number two no longer in my life? And you also have the magician cards. So again, it speaks about how you provided for them, not literally financially, but what you did provide for them was extreme support energetically, vibrationally, and opportunistically. Did I say that right? I think I said that right. Opportunistically. The magician, so you have tools. You are just a well-resourced individual, or so that's how they see you. And it doesn't have to be literal. Resources can be energetic. It could be wisdom. It could be joy. You know, you bring joy into their lives. And, you know, it translates and manifests in all different ways. I feel like the variation of how this manifests in each of your lives, Palomar 2, is extremely different. But the energy is the same. You provided resources in so many ways, in abundance. And people loved getting, you know, advice from you. They loved hearing the ideas that you have because your ideas are so unique and so different and it's so refreshing as well. Ace of Pentacles, yeah, and when you left them, it felt sudden. They, it really shook them up and they're like, why, how did this happen? Why is Palomar 2 no longer in my life? What? They have their, some of them are confused, but I would say most of them realize now, and they're still in the process of realizing more and more how they could have been a better person in your life. They're still in the process of that. I feel like majority of the people that you may be thinking of upon them or two is still wondering what, what went wrong or what, how this happened or, and they sometimes daydream and, you know, how, how can we be friends again? How can we be together again? How can they make things right? They do think stuff like that. And then for like a small number of people are kind of just confused and, and they don't know, but they still feel the absence of you really deeply in this way where they feel as though they have no longer have this resource in their life. Okay. So let's see, you guys were patient with them. They took that for granted when it comes to you, pal number two. You, this patience that is almost motherly, it's fatherly, it's just something that's so supportive and nurturing to anyone's soul, this, this level of patience. You know, so many people I find lack the patience for each other we're so accustomed to fast things, fast fashion, fast dopamine hits, fast shipping times, everything fast. And so truly patience is such a becoming, unfortunately, a rare asset that people get to experience from each other. But polymer two, you guys have this. You guys are mature and patient and you know when and where to be patient with some things. Some things, yes, you can expect and appreciate it coming faster than, you know, sooner than later. But also some things in life do require patience, like, like associating with other humans, you know. People are not perfect and you get that and you love who you love and so you're going to be patient with them. And the people that have wronged you or whatever the heck happened in your situation, pile number two, you cut these people out and they realize how loving and nurturing and patient you were to them and they took that aspect for granted and now they're like, wow. And they, and they learned, they learned that beautiful angels like you exist, pile number two.
they also really miss how adorable you were i want to say that's in your this it's in your reading it's in your spread that you are adorable i mean we're literally using the cat card and i love this deck so much it's such a fun card to read for i love this so much they miss you know you are were you when you're into what am i saying pile number two the absence that is felt from them is that they miss how cute and adorable you were. You were uplifting. Not only are you so powerful in everything that we already talked about, you were also a joy bringer. You celebrate things that are worth celebrating. You're just such a ball of sunshine when you guys were in their life. And that's a part of the reason why it shook them so much when you left. So that is a reading half for you guys, pile number two. I really enjoyed tapping into your energy and reading for you. Thank you for allowing me to do so. Help me boot that like button if you like the video and consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. I'll see you in another reading. Bye for now. Pile number three, how are we all doing? Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. If you're looking for private readings catered to your situation and your energy, you can find my Etsy shop in the description box below. I offer them in pre-recorded readings, written readings, and also Zoom one-on-one -on -one live readings if that's what you'd like to experience. So pile number three, we have the three of cups and the devil so far. This is going to be an interesting reading. How is your absence felt? Palm number three. How is palm number three's absence felt? Oh. You know what? This is really obvious to me already. Palm number three. They, this must be an ex or someone that had a major thing for you because you have the devil card and they miss being intimate with you. And you know what I mean when I say that. They miss being intimate with you. They miss the closeness that they got with you. They miss having access to you physically. They miss you. And they just miss your beauty. They miss your physique. They miss your eyes. They miss your lips. They miss your touch. They miss your scent. They miss all of that. You guys had fun and they wonder what went wrong. And let's maybe get into what went wrong maybe. We'll see if that comes up later into your reading. But what's most important is how is pile number three's absence felt? Interesting. Okay, this was a toxic relationship. This was a toxic friendship. Whatever this ship was, it was toxic. I have to really emphasize that because they kind of used you. This, I feel awful to need to say this or bring this to light. And what is so amazing about what this tells me is that you guys are so dedicated to your relationships. You're so dedicated and so committed to people and things that you decide to commit, commit and dedicate yourself to. People in your life currently that you still have in your life are, appreciate that and they lo love that about you this is what you bring to the table this is who you are you are strong-willed and you love deeply and you love strong and so this person that's no longer in your life the absence that they feel is that now they feel like they have to do the work themselves like oh boo hoo like they're literally like i feel like i'm talking or feeling into a three-year-old when it, when i tap into this energy it's immature i'm so happy pile number three that this person's no longer in your life because you don't deserve this this is not they don't see eye to eye with you they are so uh, like bless their soul bless their heart you know they're still human they're not perfect i get it but they're also really just simply un less evolved the stage they're at bless them i love them in their own beautiful way but the journey that they are on is so far behind you pal number three i don't know who this is it this is but this is crazy how you allow this person in your life for however long. I feel like it didn't last very long because you are so much greater and grander than whatever this person was offering you. They're so in the 3D and they're so dense in the way that they think. And they're not really 
taking responsibility in their life. Why? Because when you guys were intermingling, pile number three, you took on the burden and you took on all the heavy things. You were fathering them, you were mothering them, you took on the weight of the relationship or the friendship, whatever it was. You carried... So for example, let me just explain. I feel like I'm just being vague. Seven of Wands, Ten of Wands. So you carried the progression of the friendship or the relationship. You made stuff happen. It's it was it was you. It was your doing. The fact that it even got anywhere is because you made it happen. They did f all. They didn't do anything. They were here just counting their pennies and being cheap MFs. They are, they just, well, they, uh, excuse me, pile number three, but this energy kind of just annoys me. Center once again, so you did the hard work, you kept the relationship together, you initiated things, you initiated conversations, you brought up the hard things to talk about. You came up with good ideas to hang out. Maybe you even financially provided. You, you were the leader in this situation. You made things happen. You know, and when it comes to them experiencing you, they had a good time being with you. They, it felt, you know, when I feel into their energy, it feels so almost submissive and useless, I want to say. They just was there to enjoy the ride. So the, uh, the way your absence is felt is that now they have to do the work. Oh no, like we're all doing our fair share of our own soul's evolution. And when you were in their life, they got to take a break from the responsibilities of their life and their soul's growth. You did the work of making things good, you were the one that initiated literally, I want to say everything. So now that you're not in their life, they are missing that juicy piece of snack. First and foremost, they're missing the good times a lot. And they miss the fact that you did so much work for them. And oh no, now they have to do work in their own life. It's so silly that they even think that that is something that they can pull off. Pile number three, what is going on with this person? Now they're experiencing the burden. Not only are they experiencing the burden and the heaviness of their own life, nothing to do with you. This is their own doing. And they had all this BS that they carried along with them. They had a lot of baggage that they were ignoring. And you saw it. You saw all of their baggage. And you were almost helping him or her clear the baggage from their own life. And they didn't want to deal with it. And you were there being the mature person that's helping them clear out their closet. You were taking out the dead bodies metaphorically from their life. And I mean, it... and. It was God's divine hand in removing this person from your life because it's not your responsibility. You have so much bigger and better things that you can spend your beautiful divine energy on, pile number three. So they feel really stuck. You know what? How, how these people are feeling, pile number three, after you've left them, the heaviness, not only do they feel a shock of them feeling like, oh no, this is on me now. It's just me. I have no one to blame. And because they've been ignoring it and they karmically built up bad karma for them, and so they, it's like this doubling and tripling effect because they put it on you and they have been ignoring it. So then now it's the pressure is on, on them. So they are doing whatever they need to do. But the heaviness definitely is strong when it comes to them. They missed your intellect, they missed the conversations, They, you were a huge lifting, literally, you were lifting the weight of 
both of your worlds. So whether it's a friendship or a relationship that you had to let go of, you were holding on to not only your world and you did it well. Polymer 3, you guys are good. You, you're, I feel your energy and you guys are so strong and you're able to manage situations that are usually hard for people, but it's easy to you, if you know what I'm trying to say there. And so not only were you managing your own life really well, you were also managing their life. I don't know if it was intentional or not, or if you accidentally was taking it on because you love them. So why wouldn't you? And you accidentally did too much for them. And so life had to separate you because that wasn't good for you, but you were good for them. So they benefited from being around you. And, you know, I'm so glad this person is no longer in your life because they truly were a leech. Sure, you guys had good times, but energetically, spiritually, in the long term of things, they there's it, it just wasn't gonna be beneficial for your growth. You you are ready for bigger and better things than this person. And you know what? They're gonna grow in their own, you know, it's just it just feels a separation of roads. A necessary separation of roads. They're going, they're choosing their own path with their free will in an interesting direction i want to say i feel like we're getting a little off tangent so let's get back to your reading because i'm starting to read into what happened and where they're going with their life and where you're going with their life so uh let's let's see oh my gosh again uh polymer three the chariot so again you did the work they missed they the absence that they feel is that you did so much of the work they miss your hard working nature how i'm sorry but how immature do they need to be who am i to judge who am i to judge though but let me just finish my sentence like who how immature does this person need to be to not take on this much responsibility in their own freaking life because the absence of that they feel from you not being there is that now they have to do the basic necessities of being alive and of being human, just birthing into this dimension and into this experience. You know, it's your responsibility to heal your traumas and understand your own emotions and have people skills and make your money and take care of yourself on a basic level i'm not even we're not even talking about advanced stuff at all like when it comes to this person they don't even have their basic necessities handled i, I think i'm just gonna leave it at that maybe i'll let's just see if, what, what, what one more card will, will show us so how is your absence felt polymer three So polymer three, they feel extremely left out in the cold. You are just, you iced them out and they feel the ice because you did provide a lot of warmth when you were in their life. And the contrast of how hot and heavy and sorry, just hot, you guys were super hot to them. Why am I so emphasized on that word? So that's how they viewed you. That's for sure. So you were so, you bring, you were the sun in their life. You were the literal sun in their life. And when you left, you, you brought the sun with you. So now they're just in this icy freaking winter land of doom and gloom of, of, and responsibilities and all the things that you need to do with life and being human on this planet. <laughs> hilarious. This is hilarious. I, I hope I made sense because I feel like the way this reading came out was a little jagged. Anyway, I hope it did and I hope you like this reading as well. Help me boot that like button if you did and consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already done so and I will see you in another reading. Bye for now.